You are now tuned in to Believe. Do you believe? Ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Blake Rafino. This is Are You Serious Sports. We hope that you guys are making it a good one. We know that we are as well. Huge show in store for you tonight. We are guestless. No guests tonight. Everybody bailed on your brother. But we'll be picking it up Sunday morning with our good friend, Mike Jones Jr. Who? Mike Jones. Who? Mike Jones. Who? Mike Jones. Who? As we will be kicking back off our Sunday morning shows, obviously, and with the post games when the season starts, it's going to be really, really fun. We'll be doing them during the uh, during fall camp uh, and doing post game scrimmages, telling you what we see, things like that. If we're even allowed into uh, the scrimmages this year, um, we will be doing all that. So, kicking off football season is going to be really fun, really, really, really fun. So, we're going to kick it back old school. Here tonight, we are going to get to as absolute many comments as we can. So if you remember the old days of AYS and episodes 200 through 300, we pretty much put up every stinking comment we could and we walked through it. So we're going to be doing that again tonight. The People's Show is back, baby, as you guys run this. I'm just here. I'm just here so I won't get fined. So I'm looking forward to getting all of your questions, thoughts, concerns, your takes. Let's get to it all. You have a football take. You have an LSU take. You have a sports take in general that doesn't revolve around politics. Bring it and put it inside of the Rudy Crew chat, and we will get to as many of them uh, as we can. I will, Bo, be talking about tonight. Um, I'm going to go through the LSU football starter prediction before camp starts Uh, I'm going to give you, we're going to go through every position group. I know it's going to take us a while, but I think it's good to go through the position groups where I see or where I think we are at at the current moment. Give you an idea um, as to what I'm hearing and what I'm thinking as of day one. Now, guys, let me say this and preface this in the very beginning. It's going to change, right? Like it's 1,000% going to change. So do not write this in stone. Hell, you might not even want to write this in paper unless you got a pencil and a good eraser handy because it's going to change once we kick off camp a week from yesterday. So a lot that we got to get into. LSU baseball will be number one. Uh, I keep on the AYS message board every hour on the hour. Somebody is sending me a private chat. Or someone is sending, uh, you know, put it inside the message board about Paul Skeens. I will address that again tonight, but I really, really uh, just ask you to go to our message board, AYSSnetwork.com slash forum. Sign up, guys. It's seven bucks a month. I mean, come on. I mean, it's not, it, it's inexpensive. Um, so we get in there and we chat. We talk a lot of good things. 
as well. Like we do every Tuesday and Thursday, hashtag Ash Blake. Put it inside the comments. We will get to as many of them as we can uh, throughout the show. And I'm going to do something that we used to do a long time ago that I kind of wanted to bring back. We'll do it here tonight. Uh, UFC 277 preview. We'll do that at the very, very end of the show. As Juliana Pena takes on Amanda Nunes in the rematch, that's going to be really, really fun. Really, really, really fun. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get to a couple of these comments, though, before we get started. Phillips Clinton said, let's lock, rock and roll. Chris English, who also sent us some stars via Facebook, says, got to keep my streak alive. What streak are you talking about, Chris? What streak are you talking about? Uh, Chris H. on YouTube, who also says, let the band play neck, which I agree. Says, I'm confused. Scott Woodward said in an interview that LSU was not behind in NIL. Certainly, he doesn't know as much as our local media. Yeah, I have been peppered on that today. Not going to continue to go down that rabbit hole. If people want um, to continue with that, that's their prerogative. They have no idea what they're talking about. As we do see Texas A&M with only six recruits, guys, people talk. Now, they're not going to end at six recruits. They're going to start getting dudes. They're going to start getting guys. I still think TJ Shanahan's going to Texas A&M. Um, so they're going to continue to get guys, right? So I'm not <laughs> in the slightest worried about LSU. There's more than one way to skin a cat, as the saying goes. Al Landry says, she be clapping with no hands. Let's go. Uh, Al, you're not supposed to be that old and white and know that song. That's a rap song. She be clapping with no hands. If you could see Zach's face. Pooh Bear, look at Zach's face. Ho, ho. I guarantee you, Zach listens to like Blink 182. You know. Stacy's mom has got it going on. Tell me I'm lying. By the way, I'm going to drop this tonight. I was going to wait till next week until we dropped it on the website. Guys, I forgot to tell you all this too. Uh, we will be dropping a t-shirt <laughs> that says M-I-L-F, M period, L, uh, I period, L period, F period. Man, I love football. <laughs> Uh, that made me think about that when Zach said, Stacy's mom has got it going on. Oh, Doug No says it's the Zach Wilson anthem. That's true. It's true. <laughs> uh, Rico Delgado says, I'm here tonight in case Blake starts yelling and getting out of line. <sighs> well, I mean, seems like you need to be here in every episode. Uh, Cahoon ass Kern dog on Facebook says, I'm ready to talk some shit to some FSU fans. I feel you, bro. I feel you. You know, uh, Rob Boudreaux sends us nine 99 via YouTube. Thank you so much, Rob. Yeah. Guys, Saturday morning tonight is, uh, you know, all times the super chats are open. Um, the super chats are open, but if you want to subscribe to the AYS message board, it's seven, seven bucks a month. You could do that too. Uh, KMC says, "Hot take: Marlon Martinez wins the center job." Okay, guys, first hot take of the night. Fire in your hot takes inside the Rudy Crew chat. I don't think that that's a bad take, though, and I really, honestly, don't think that that's a um, really a, that hot of a take. Uh, Ryan says, M-I-L-F. Yes, we're going to be making T-shirts. M-I-L-F. Man, I love football. It's going to be like a white shirt or a purple shirt with gold lettering on it. I'm really looking forward to that shirt. Uh, I want that shirt 4XLT. Okay. Okay. Nothing wrong with wearing a 3X or a 4X. Traver on Facebook says, Joe Burrow performed surgery on himself yesterday. Go Tigers. <laughs> Man, there's really not a lot, if we're being honest, there's not a lot that I don't think Joe Burrow can't do. Like, I heard one time Joe Burrow, never mind, I ain't going to say it. I ain't going to say it. 
Stacy's mom. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Ryan sends us some stars via Super Chat. Uh, thank you so much. Chris English says, saw that Eli Apple got burnt again. Yeah, Jamar Chase burnt that ass. He burnt that ass. And no pause. Raw dog. Straight raw dog. All right. I'm going to chill out. Everybody do us a favor. Hit the like Bruh. and share. Come on now. Bruh. Hey, all I'm saying is, is there's three people associated with AYS right now. Two of us have children. Okay? So don't be brought in me when we got kids, poo. I know your nasty ass. <laughs> Y'all should be... Never mind. I ain't gonna say it. 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 I love me. I love Pooh though. He knows that. All right, two more. Then we're gonna get started. Doug Nose says saw some FSU practice film today. Man, they're small. Yeah, they are. You know, it's funny, Doug. I, I said the same thing. Defensively, though, guys, they are they are big. Pause. But they are big. I, and I know Pooh Bear was about to hit that pause button if I didn't say it. I knew he was gonna do it. Pooh Bear. Yes, no, or maybe so. Were you going to hit the pause when I said they're really big? Pause. Pooh, we got to stop with this pause. I say pause. You know, I'd be talking in business meetings. I was in a business meeting today with a sponsor who's coming on in August, and I said something. <laughs> I said something, and he was like, pause. <laughs> I was like, Pooh Bear just taking over the show, bro. He taking over the show. Uh, and Terry Delahousse says, Jane Daniels, QB1 against FSU. We'll talk on that as well. We'll talk on that as well. Okay, everybody do us a favor and hit the like and share. Guys, so many of you joining us. If you missed it, if you're just joining us, as I mentioned, I'm going to give you my uh, predictions for the guys that will be starting uh, at Camp 1, Day 1. It's going to change. I'm not writing this in stone. Hell, I'm not even really, other than the, my notes that I have literally right here for the show, uh, is the only reason why I wrote it down. But we'll be going through that. So it'll take us a little bit, and I'll give you explanations on most of it. So hit the like and hit the share if you're listening to us on Facebook. I see that so many of you are watching us live right now. Do us a favor. Hit the like and share. Uh, uh, like our Facebook page and all that good stuff as well. If you're listening to us on YouTube, like, subscribe, notification bell, all that good stuff. If you're listening to us on XM Radio or you are listening to us on the audio podcast platform, thank you so much. Rate, review, subscribe, all that good stuff. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. We had like 17,000 people listen or like 24,000 people listen to us this week on the audio podcast platform. And you guys, all you got to do is hit the rate and review button. Come on, bro. Come on, man. All right. But we got to do this before we get started. Before we tell you or my prediction on the starters, uh, let's pay these bills very quickly. Let's talk about our good friends over at BetOnline. Dot AG and our good friends over at uh, GM Varno and Sons, GM Varno and Sons dot com. We'll be back in a minute 30. We got a lot to talk about. Our partners over at Bet Online continue to be the number one source for all of your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest sports developments, including updated odds on the NBA playoffs, fights, and even next season's futures. And don't forget that the MLB is back as well. Who are you picking? To win the World Series. BetOnline is your continued source for all of your sports wagering needs, including live betting and your favorite Vegas casino and poker games. It's easy to get started, so head on over to their website. Use BetOnline.ag. Use that promo code BELIEVE. That's B-L-E-A-V. That's B-L-E-A-V to receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. That's BetOnline.ag. BetOnline to receive your 50% welcome bonus. With over 65 years of experience, nobody is better equipped to service in your vehicle than GM Varno & Sons. RV repair, big rig overhauls, motor chassis, routine maintenance, tire rotations, tire sales. No job is too big or too small over at GM. If you break down on the side of the road in the greater Baton Rouge area, they will come and get you. And the best thing about that is that they can come and get you and then they can bring your vehicle back to their shop and start the repairs right then. Again, GM Varno & Sons, go see them over at 2500 Full Boulevard. Give them a call at 225-664-9992. 225-664-9992. Tell them you good friend, Blake Rafino. Sit you on by. 
Uh, I don't think Dylan is calling us this, so I could be wrong here, but he says trash ass dude. I don't think he's calling us that. Dylan, who are you calling trash? Uh, Philip Rose says, hashtag ask Blake, who do you think the offense, or what do you think the offense will look like uh, pass percentage versus run percentage? Um, I, 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 I know this is going to sound like a cop-out. I think it just really depends, Philip. honestly. Um, I, I, I agree with my buddy Mike Scarborough, who did just break some news here, or Kylan Jackson just broke some news. Speaking of Mike Scarborough, um, and I'll get back to Philip's question, but Kylan Jackson, the very talented safety out of Zachary, has um, gone down to his four finalists uh, and and will set a commitment date. Michigan, Oregon, Texas A&M, and LSU are those schools. I really like Kylan Jackson. I got to be honest. Um I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to put that in the message board tomorrow because we have a big write-up for tomorrow uh, coming out. So I'm going to put that on the message board. But I really like Kylan Jackson a lot. If you saw, I did put him in my top six um, or seven. I think I put him in the – I think he was number six of my pro, – the prospects that I like in the state of Louisiana. He's up there. He's really good. Uh, I'm really, really hoping that young man comes to LSU. But back to Phillip's question, and I think either Pooh Bear or, or, or Zach – uh, a Pooh Bear. Yeah, y'all guys do that. Put uh, PB for Pooh Bear and Zach put Stacy's mom when you put a comment in there. Uh, but it says 50. <laughs> Am I the only person who thinks my jokes is really funny? Like, I think I'm the funniest human being on the face of the planet. As long as I, I feel like I'm funny, I don't give a shit if y'all laugh or not. Uh, but Pooh Bear says 57-43 pass to run. <sighs> you know, I could see that. I think it really depends on who the quarterback's going to be, though. You know, what? what's interesting, y'all stop saying poor Zach, too. What's interesting to me is I went back and watched um, the UCLA game from Arizona State a season ago. I, I really don't understand where this shit with Jane Daniels really comes from. Look, I, I, I do get that he's got to work on his intermediate passing game. He's got to be more accurate. You're not going to hear an argument from me. And I know, and, and trust me, when I said that about Miles Brennan last night, people took it again out of context, and I got bl obliterated in my DMs about it. Each one of these guys has an – it's not even an issue, but something that they can improve in. Jane Daniels was not the reason why Arizona State's offense stunk a season ago. I, I, going and watching his games, just because I thought that he was a better passer than what people were getting, giving him credit for, and I'm like, man, what in the Rudy Poo am I thinking? And I knew my eyes did not deceive me. I'm not saying he's the starter – um, but he's not as bad as people think he is. I say that to say this. If he's your starting quarterback, I think I'm going to tilt a little bit more to the 50-50 the margin. I think that they're going to get his legs involved. I really think LSU wants to establish the running game a lot. Like, a lot. Um... And we'll go through these starters projections. So this might be better for me to just go ahead and do this very quickly. That way we can have this chat inside the Rudy Crew chat. It's like an old school episode, man. So fire in your comments and your chats. But like, so offensively, and, and really these are going to be rotated from a receiver standpoint, but it's going to be Kayshawn. I think Jack Besh is going gonna, is gonna to be your third wide receiver. Whether he be in the slot or out wide, I don't know that. I really do believe that he's going to be your third guy. You don't bring a man to media days like that and and continue to push uh, Brian Kelly, push him if he's not going to be your third guy or rotate every other play. He's going to see a lot of action. And I really think Brian Thomas Jr. is going to be your, your third guy out there. He'll probably play the Z or the X, whatever it may be. Uh, and then Jeray Jenkins out there as well because Jeray's not a slouch in his in and of his own right, in his own right. Um and Brian Kelly said at the Rotary Club yesterday, guys, we're going to have a tight end on the field at every on every play. So you're going to be and you're going to have th four and five wide, right? Like LSU is going to do that, 
but I, I wonder if they're still going to keep Cole Taylor on the field. Guys, when, when Brian Kelly said that yesterday about we're going to keep a tight end on the field at all time, I like having a tight end on the field. Is there something that he's seen about Cole Taylor? Now, he talked about the depth and the depth being an issue, but he's talking about, and this is no knock to, to Jack Mashburn, but Mark McWay is probably a better tight end than, than that young man. But what you can't say about Mashburn is Mashburn's a really good interior blocker or even when he puts his hand on the dirt on the outside, he can block. The problem with him, though, is, is that he's never going to go down the field and catch a football. Right? Like, he, he, we haven't seen that yet. I mean, he caught one, and but he's tough, man. If, if that young man could put on some size, pause, but if that young man could put on some size, I really do believe um, – that he can be a little bit serviceable, just a really solid college tight end. So that's my three wide receivers to start Start out, obviously, with Cole Taylor being at tight end. Offensive line for me, I think this – so this might shock some people. Um, I think Will Campbell, obviously, at left tackle. That's an obvious, given the spring. I don't know if Traymond Shorts guy stays at left guard. He might move to right tackle. Um, mainly just due to the, to my thought process is how much Brian Kelly has started to talk about Anthony Bradford. Um, and, and well, and, and they kind of talked about it too, but Anthony Bradford being down 25, 30 pounds, I think is a very big deal and him being more athletic and gaining strength. I think he's going to find his himself starting at left guard. Center, it's really a three-man race. I, I don't know how much confidence at the current moment that I, I have in Charles Turner. Um, is he a smart young man? Yes, but phys physically, can he get it done? We'll see. I, I said this all season. I said this all season. Um, Marlon Martinez was probably your most consistent offensive lineman from a season ago. Let's see if he can crack himself into the center position as well. Right guard, I think it's going to be Miles Frazier. And right tackle, it's going to be a revolving door. I think if you have Anthony Bradford at left guard, you're going to move Traymond Shorts out to right tackle. It's just my opinion. That that dude, Traymond Shorts did some really good things in the spring game that are st I'm still appalled by because, hey, he's just an FCS player, right? FCS guys aren't that good. Did it to a damn good defensive line, though. Running back, I'm going to go John Emery. I, I still think he gets the first snap because we've seen Denbrock talk it, about him a lot and talk about, hey, man, we got to get you a lot of touches. Um, so I'm going to go John Emery, but you guys know how Frank Wilson rolls. It's going to be a rotation and a lot like wide receiver. And I know people are going to say Malik Neighbors. Fine, take Brian's, Brian Thomas out and put Malik Neighbors in. It doesn't really bother me either which way because they're all going to rotate in at a very high level. But it's just something about Jack Besh, man, that I, I just don't know. I just don't think you take that young man to media days and, and put him as a part of the face of the program if you're not expecting him to be a starter. Quarterback, we, we talked about that a lot last night, so I don't think I, I don't feel as if um, I have to rehash that. Defensive line, you pretty much already know, but, but, and I know Pooh Bear and, and, and the guys over the Golden Boot Pod had Makai on their episode on Sunday. Um, we did an article on the message board, on the forum. Um, Pooh, was it about a week ago today? Well, Zach, you're, you're a member too. It was about a week ago today. I said the biggest kept secret on LSU's football team is Makai Wingo. Um, so we wrote the article. The article's in there. So you can't, you can't say that we didn't know. Hey, guys, sourcing. As um, the workouts were done last week, if you saw it today, Makai Wingo won the Iron Tiger Award for the best performance in weights and training during the summer. Y'all better watch out for that young man. I now, I, yeah, okay. You bet. Look, listen. <laughs> I don't care that that kid's six one two eighty or two eighty five two ninety. Don't give. Don't matter to me because of everybody on that team. Did you expect the guy to win the workout award for LSU football 
When you, when we sat here two months ago today, when we sat here two months ago and these workouts started, did you think Makai Wingo was going to be the dude that was the guy that won the award for best overall performance in the nutrition room and the weight room and on the field? He might have been one of the last guys that you would have named. Huge, huge summer for the St. Louis native Makai Wingo, who, who I did not know this. I knew he was from St. Louis, but Pooh Bear got it. Our aunt got it out of um, Makai. He's actually, his head coach was Robert Steeples. I know that we have a, a, a chalked in defensive line, but I'm going to tell you something now. If we open up this game against Florida State, if we open up this game, and Florida State's four wide, and you got to get a pass rush, and a guy that's versatile enough to stop the run. I'm like Drewski. Somebody take a picture. I'm the white Drewski. I'm like the meme. All right, y'all better put some respect on that young man's name. Guys, you got Kayshawn Boutique, Jack Besh, Walker Howard, Jaqueline Roy, Mason Smith, uh, uh, um, Malik Neighbors, Chris Hilton, uh, uh, Sage Ryan, uh, Mike Jones Jr. Who? You got so many talented dudes. Makai Wingo was the guy that won it. Y'all need to go check out that interview on the Golden Boot Pod, man. It's really good. And it, I... I What's crazy about this, and we talked about this with Mike Jones Jr., um, the crazy thing about this, I think that the man shouldn't start, and here's why. Makai Wingo shouldn't start because he hates Marvel movies. You gotta have punishment for bad takes like that, Makai. Guys, it's a joke. You know, somebody's gonna clip that and send it to him. Guys, it's a joke. But watch out for that young man. So I don't feel like I have to go through the defensive line. Keep firing your comments. We'll, we're we're getting about to get to all of them. Um, linebacker, I, I think it's a... It, uh, look, we what's, what's interesting about linebacker, man, is can, can Greg Penn hold off Micah Baskerville? I don't know. I... I <laughs> Man, go up, go pop in that Arkansas game a season ago. Baskerville was all over the place, man. He saved your ass so many times and against Arkansas. Um, but if Greg Penn can, it's going to be Greg Penn and Mike Jones Jr. But I think Baskerville is going to find a way to work himself back in here. I, I really do believe that. I really do believe that. DB room, guys, the DBs is where I, I fully expect. Um, this to be the the most of a revolving door until they find their five or six guys. I think it's going to be Jarek Bernard Converse and Seven Banks on the outside. I think you're, Seven Banks is versatile enough to where he can move at nickel on true passing downs. Uh, but I think that you're, they're your two boundary corners. Give me Greg Brooks on. Uh, give me Greg Brooks in the slot. Give me Greg. He showed in the off season that he can play that position. I'm going to roll with Greg. I think safety is where a lot of people are going to really disagree with me here. Um, I think Jay Ward, obviously, you know, the, the Kerry Cooks has talk, spoke highly of Jay Ward. We did an interview with WBRZ um, with Jay and Jarek. He, he's going to be fine. The other positions, what's going to, what I'm going to be looking at. Can Sage Ryan play the nickel? Who knows? We'll see. But if Joe Fouché, if Joe Fouché can find a way, I would, going back and watching a lot of these Arkansas games, Joe Fouché, man, that kid can play. <laughs> that kid can play, man. So that's pretty much my, my, my itched in paper starters. Um, so let's debate on that. I see a lot of these comments uh, flying in. Let's start off with King Ulysses. Ulysses, where you been in spaces, dog? We ain't seen you. But he says, Campbell Bradford 
Uh, question mark, shorts, Frazier. I could see Miles Frazier moving to right tackle and shorts being at, at guard. I, I know a lot of people will ask about Cardell Thomas. Man, he's, I, 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 I don't know. I, I do question if Cardell had a good summer. I, I do question it. I, you got a lot of people whose bodies are changing. His is not. And I, I'm not going to say Paul's and all that kind of stuff, but I don't know, man. Maybe he can. But from one offensive lineman to another, Cordell has to get his chest back. What do I mean by that? If you If you notice Cordell, he leans way too much. His chest is in front of his toes. He's got to be perfectly balanced. You know, like, you ever seen a kung fu movie? Everybody was kung fu fighting. Their girl's booty was clapping fast as lightning. You got to be perfectly balanced, man. Kung fu. He's not. Technique is not that great. Uh, Chris English says, I liked Wingo at Missouri. He was a dog there, and he's going to be a beast here. I agree with Chris there. Craig says, what's the ceiling and the floor, Blake? Vegas has some very awkward positive expectations. I think the floor is 7-5, and five, guys. Like, the absolute floor for me is 7-5. and five. But I do think the ceiling is 10-2. and two. That's the ceiling. So I, for me, and it's such a high number of, it's like basically saying, hey, Blake's just got us winning, having a winning season. And that, and that's so true, but I, I really don't know. Like, I, I got to see more from this offense. And I could say this until I'm blue in the face, but I got to I, – guys, I have to see. I have to 1,000% see this offense before I start saying, hey, I think LSU's going 9-3. and three. You talk to every fan base, and this is one reason why I love Twitter spaces so much – is I can sit back and listen. You know, we come out here five days a week and and talk for an hour, sometimes maybe a little bit more than that. And on the postgame shows, guys, we're two hours deep. We're doing a postgame show two whole hours. So, I, you know, sitting back and listening to a lot of these fan bases and these Twitter spaces, um, everybody says their team's going nine and three. You know, it's like when you when you went to the bar, or you went to the club, and old girl was shaking it. You know, she was shaking that thing. And you was just doing like that. You know? <laughs> and when you're driving home, and the cops pull you over, and they say, sir, how much you been drinking tonight? You go, two beers. Everybody says two beers. Everybody. Everybody says where our team's going nine and three outside of like Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State, Clemson. Yeah, we're going nine and three, man. I don't see how such and such a team's going to beat us. Get out of here with that. Get out of here with that. Not everybody's going nine and three. Somebody's not, somebody's going to be wrong. Uh, Wayne McBride says, does Hilton rotate in a lot? I think Chris has the ability to, especially if you want to take the top off of a defense. Um, Chris has battled through some injuries. He's talked about them here on this show, so I don't feel bad in mentioning, and he's talked about those injuries. Um, I, I think he could. He, he, start, he Look, LSU went trips right. They went four wide a, a play one. And on third down, Chris was in there a lot. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't um, – Jeray Jenkins or Brian Tom. It was Brian Thomas Jr. But the thing about that rotation in the spring is Kayshawn's not out there. Uh, Ryan says Wingo and Smith are fire. Yeah. Chris, uh, I think we got we we said that one. So I was going up. Uh, Phil Gibbs sends us some uh, stars via Facebook. Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, Wade McBride says Wingo won that Tiger Tough Award or whatever they called it. Yeah, he did. I'm telling you, man, <laughs> that kid can play. That kid can 1,000% play. Pressure Williams says Banks, Converse, Brooks, Ward, Fouché. Yeah, that's what we have. 
That's what I at least that right now. That's what I have. And guys, all this is barn that nobody gets injured in spring camp. Uh, Chris says Cardell and Cali working out with the wide receivers and JD. No, he's not. Or he's not. Or he wasn't. Uh, I know that he went. I saw it on the Instagram thing. I'm just saying. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> Brandon Reese says I want to see Mike Jones Jr. Who? Mike Jones. Baskerville and Perkins. See, that's another that's another thing that we haven't talked about a lot this offseason. We haven't talked a lot about Harold Perkins. Mainly because we just hadn't seen him on the field. Um, but believe you me, I'm asking a lot about Harold. You know, you heard Mike Jones talk about how how fast he is. He's always beating a lot of dudes in this conditioning stuff, and he challenges Mike, and he's like, God dog. Here, another one too, man. Demario Tolan. Uh, Rick Cloetti. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, says Fouché is a baller, man. Yeah, I, go pop in that Bama film. P- pop in Arkansas versus Bama, and you'll hear Joe Fouché. He wore number seven at, at Arkansas. You were going to see him just absolutely going bananas. And it's not like he's always making the play. You know, there was a play against Texas A&M uh, that he had last season where he couldn't – he could have made the tackle, but he was also getting blocked on a bubble screen and played it so perfectly well and so perfectly and defensively sound that he forced the play back inside, wrapped up one leg, and the cavalry came. And actually, guys, it was ball game. He made the game-winning tackle. Um, that young man is, I don't want to say he's like a great value Tyron Matthew. Uh, and a lot of Arkansas fans doo-dooed all over him, Pauls, but they said he's not any good. I would love to know what film that they're watching. <laughs> well, I would really, really like to see the film that they're watching. Do y'all think Arkansas fans' his teeth gets in the way or tooth? Hey, Sarah, look how clean my tooth is. <laughs> like, you know, the football fans that also love NASCAR. Ooh, he's making a left turn. He's making another left turn. You know, like Zach, pretty much. <laughs> Dude, my mom was here today watching Ben, my son. And uh, she comes up to me and says, Blake, stop making fun of Zach. I'm like, mom, it's a show. You know what I mean? Like it's a caricature. I tell, I, <laughs> I'll tell y'all, Zach Moore knows more things about what's going on with AYS than anybody. I trust him more. <laughs> I trust him with the AYS info more than anybody. Now watch Tigers Avenue's DMs on Twitter is about to explode. <laughs> I'll be texting Zach. Zach, we need to edit for this commitment. When's that happen? Two weeks from now. Okay. And I'm like, man, Zach ain't going to hold on, man. He going to let it slip. He going to let it slip. Uh, Lyle be like, I wonder how they play with, uh, they play Perkins. I think they're going to use him, utilize him in a lot of different uh, situations. I think he'll be on the outside. I think he'll play interior some if it went, if and when it warrants it. You know, look, man, you know what the best thing about, like, say, a Southern game is? That's where those – and not just Southern, but any FCS opponent or opponent that you should beat, it's good to be able to see Harold Perkins play middle linebacker and see how he does, right? Again, knocking on what boring injury. But that that more than – that's what makes those games really important. You know, fans say, oh, I don't like it. It's not good. Well, shit, you like it in two years when a guy like Devin White, who had his first playing time experience at, uh, at linebacker when he's playing Dookie University and he's having six tackles at the end of, you know, because he's playing a lot in the second half. And it, it, he kind of gets those cobwebs and those that nervousness out of him. Everybody said, stop playing the stop playing the group of five. Stop playing the rental wins. 
See, you say all that shit until the time comes when a Patrick Queen's getting his first time experience on the road against Texas, and he, he's just so goddamn talented. Patrick Queen didn't even start, by the way, in 19. And then he starts hitting his stride, and then by Alabama, the kid's damn near unstoppable. FCS games, lives matter too, or whatever, however they say it. I don't even know how to say it. Hey, Pooh Bear, I need you to do me a favor I, while I'm thinking about uh, thinking about it. I, Pooh Bear and them at the Golden Boot Pod have a red hat that says make small podcasts great again. Uh, Pooh, when I start talking country, I'm going to have a, your hat right here, and I'm going to put it on. You get what I'm saying there? I mean, is Pooh Bear just not even listening to me, bro? I, I mean, like, this is some bullshit. Pooh, I'm talking to you! <laughs> oh, Mr. Blake, I gotta watch more film. Oh. KMC says, can't sleep on Makai Garner. No, you can't. That kid's long. Pause. That kid is long. Um, Keaton... Keaton be eating the protein out the jar, dog. Look at him. <laughs> Keaton says, Jeremy Hill said Cardell was working hard with Flint. Well, his body didn't change. Pictures don't lie. Uh, Barrett Granger says, oh, Lord, what did I come in on? I don't know. When did you come in? When did you come in? Uh, John Bellin on Facebook says, Hashtag Ask Blake, start training Ben for that center position. They're in demand. We will. We will. I, I Quite honestly, guys, I hope he doesn't have to play football. I hope he's like NASA smart. I don't want him to have to put his body through something like that. Unless he wants to, unless he loves football, and I hope that he does. You know, I want him to be like a doctor. Uh, Jordan on YouTube says, Jaden F. Daniels. With a toolbox emoji. I don't know how. I, I don't. Guys, I don't know y'all's lingo these days. You know, with the emojis and stuff. Tigers Avenue says, ha, ha, ha. Don't DM us. And here comes my mom sticking up for him again. Alton Scott says, that safety, that safety the room has the potential to be great. Or the safety room has potential to be great. I agree. I agree. And, and look, you can't sleep on a guy like Sage Ryan. You know, guys, LSU does have depth and a lot of talent. But just because – and, you know, here's a good comparison too, right? Like, and I didn't want to say this, and now that since we don't have any guests on tonight, maybe I can go ahead and we can kind of be talking one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but – Guys, do y'all remember the Georgia Alabama game, the national title game? I'm sure y'all do. Y'all do. And when John Minchie the third went down from an injury, and jo uh, and Jamison Williams was down with an injury, guys, they had uh, what was it, three or four, or, or yeah, three or four five star wide receivers on that roster, like really and highly talented dudes, and they were dropping passes in the national championship game. Just because you have talent behind you doesn't mean the experience is going to work for you. You do you understand what how uh, what I'm saying? So Alabama had wide receivers out wide that are four or five stars, pro dudes that would probably be really good, I'm sure. And the inexperience cost them in the national title game. Just because you have that talent behind it, and LSU has a lot of talent at a lot of places, the experience is what matters. Talent does too. Don't get it twisted. You got to be very talented to play at a school like LSU. Experience matters. So as an example, King Ulysses up top earlier said Miles Frazier at right tackle. Well, what if he gives up two sacks this season? There'll be two more than Austin Deculus did a season ago. Miles Frazier is more as a more gifted and talented dude than Van Austin Deculus. But why does Austin Deculus go up against uh, Wilson and uh, Will Anderson? Excuse me, 
and not give up a sack. And then they got to start doing things on the defensive line, like looping Will Anderson into the A-gap to get him off of Deculus so he can get to the quarterback in Max Johnson. Experience matters. Pooh Bear throws something in pretty interesting here. I was calling for him earlier, but it looked like he was on a, a phone, like a business meeting. You know, he put a, like on, I saw him put on a shirt and tie backstage. It's insane. Um, he says, Landon Ibietta for kick returner, and Aunt Marshall said agreed. Y'all should talk about that tonight on your show, Pooh. You should talk about it. Chance Babin says, been at the beach all week. What's good? Well, thanks for the invite. Uh, Aunt Marshall says, what about Ibietta? Does he have a role this season? And I think that's a good one. I think he could play some. You know, I think he – look, I think that – in my opinion, I think Landon Ibietta is talented enough to make a, a, a guide willing and knock on wood if some guys go down, he can step in and really play. He – I don't even want to go down that road – but there was a reason why Landon Ibietta was a three-star. It had absolutely nothing to do with, with his talent. Nothing to do with Landon Ibietta's talent had him listed as a three-star. And he almost got to Miami. Well, is he slow? No, he runs a 4-4-2 laser time. Was well, his quickness wrong or quickness bad? No, he ran a four one uh, what three cone drill, whatever it's called, or shuttle. Oh well, Blake, he can't catch. Yeah, he can. Yeah, he can. Oh, Pooh, they're all in the comments. They own your ass, dog. No pause. Ryan said, Pooh Bear got Blake on mute. He don't want to listen to that. <laughs> Uh, Doug Ray says, Pooh Bear said he has earmuffs on. Technically, he does. Technically? Technically, he does. John says, Blake, our hashtag asks Blake, start training Ben. Oh, we got to that. We got to that. I went I went too far up. Uh, J Jordan says, the toolbox, Blake, is a big word for athletes. Okay. I know how to say it in my head. I don't know how to say it live on air. All right, come on, Zach. If you think you could say it. What is it, Zach? Colo it doesn't matter what it is. All right. What is it, Zach? <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. All right, seriously, what is it? What is I, it? I'm not saying it now. No, please, God. No, you don't deserve it. Colloquialism. <laughs> don't you ever take me down on my own show. Thank you, Zach. Uh, Rick Cloetti. <laughs> Rick Loetti says, Mechie diagnosed with cancer, not playing this year. Yeah, so I didn't mention that, and I should have. Um, I'm gl I hope that that young man is okay, man. I, I don't care that if you play for Bama or whatever. Guys, at the end of the day, this is a sport. And John Mechie does not deserve to have leukemia. I hope it's treatable. I hope that he gets through it. And God honest, I hope the kid makes like 10 Pro Bowls now. I mean, we've seen James Conner, right? Like, we've seen James Conner have cancer and come back and, and be really good and get drafted. I hope that that young man can come back and be crazy and do crazy things. I really, 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 really do. Uh, Phil says, I know the local media slash fan base is really pushing Nuss to start. My hot take is Nuss will never be QB1 at LSU. Jane Daniels will start this year and Walker next. Wow. Okay. Now that, if y'all got hot takes like that, bring them on in here. Okay. That's what we're looking for, Phil. 
not the Jane Daniels part. I'm talking about the hot takes part because I don't, <laughs> I'm not putting my, <laughs> I'm not putting my stamp on that one yet. Uh, but that's a, that's a really good point. Pierce Lee says, Kylan Jackson and Ashley Williams to LSU. Yeah, I really like Ashley Williams, to be honest. Uh, Ann Marshall says, what about Cardell? Um, Yeah, I don't I, I I I don't know, man. I I, I, I I He's very talented. Um He just got some things that he's got to work out. And and I, I if it seems all fundamentals too. You know what I mean? Like it's not something that he can't overcome it just to me seems like nothing but fundamental stuff don't don't have your chest leaning out in front of your toes when you're doing the pass rush slide your leg don't hop because when you start hopping is when a bull rush comes and you get and they get to the quarterback and they get sacked it just seems like minute shit right like very very minute shit but it's not I think that he did some good things last season. Really good things last season. So, God, I, I really hope that young man could, can get it together. Um, Tigers Avenue, so Zach, says, hot take. Nuts will be QB1 by the end of the season. Oh, that's the hottest of takes. Oh, Thanks, Zach. Just everybody else on planet Earth has been saying that over the last 25 years. N no good spelling having rump. Uh, oh. Aunt Marshall with an interesting one. Hot take, a Marnie good one. Will be running back too by the end of the season. That kid could run now. That kid can run. You know, Aunt, what's interesting... I. I wonder how well or how Brian Kelly is going to utilize him out of the backfield. Um, what was the running back, the 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 uh, bell cow for Notre Dame last year? I know his last name was Williams. But, guys, help me out in the chat. Um, Kylan Williams. Was it Kylan Williams from Notre Dame, the running back a season ago? Um, they're built a lot alike. The crazy thing is, is Amari Goodwin's not running a 4-8-40. I wonder if he can have that kind of impact. Because if that's the kind of impact he can have, man. Uh, Zach says, Nuss has, has highest ceiling. Well, first off, that's not the way you spell ceiling. Yes, it's this. <laughs> but has the highest ceiling of the three competing. Maybe. I, you know what? Let's do this because I haven't done a break in over an hour. So let's do this. Let's pay some bills very quickly. Let's come up, guys. Y'all want to come and uh, debate that very quickly? Um, oh, we got one more hot take or two more hot takes, and we can do that. Uh, Brandon Reese says, hot take, LSU runs the table this year. Brandon, are you saying they're about to win a title? I miss doing these with the comments like we used to do with no guests. Uh, we might have to certify one day in doing that. Uh, hot take, LSU runs the table this year. Okay. Uh, high point media, hot take, John Emery will get a few carries this year. Like, are you saying he's not playing at all? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, Zach. High point media says Logan Diggs got a lot of carries from Notre Dame last year. But that, that he wasn't their bell cow. Uh, LGZ hot take Mason Taylor tight end one by the end of the season. I can see that. I can see that. Okay. Okay. Pay bills. Let's talk about our good friends over at Graham Co. My good friend, Carol Falls over at State Farm. But let me tell you about my good friend, John Patton over at GMFS Mortgage. GMFS Mortgage changing lives. If you're buying a new home, saving money on the mortgage that you have now, 
or even doing that cash out refi. The timing has never been better. Get in, get in touch with John Patton from uh, <laughs> from GMFS Mortgage today and let him know that your good friend Blake Rafino sent you on by. All right, let's pay these bills, guys. We're back in a minute with Pooh Bear and Zach. Guys, I've got to talk to you about our good friends over at Gramco. They are the Delta company based out of the state of Florida. They're founded by college football junkies just like you and I, and I am not sure if you're familiar with Delta 8, but you need to be. Gramco is the absolute leader in this field, and they have phenomenal products that I just need to tell you about. First off is the Wake and Bake coffee that is absolutely spectacular. The gummies are as well as they're the best in the market. So go to thegramco.com right now and use the promo code AYS25. That's thegramco.com, AYS25 promo code to get 25% off of your order. Jump on this fast as it is perfect for holidays, anniversaries, and everyday use. Gramco is hemp-derived and completely legal inside of the state of Louisiana. No medical card is needed, and shipping is very discreet. You must be 21 years older to order. Again, that's thegramco.com. Use that promo code AYS25. Guys, you might know my good friend Carol Falls and all the great service that he provides over at State Farm. He is your good neighbor after all. But did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates as well? Along with a great neighbor service, State Farm agent Carol Falls has surprisingly great rates for everyone inside the state of Louisiana. So call him today at 985-395-4300, 985-395-4300 for all of those surprisingly great rates on auto, home, and life insurance needs. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there, and individual premiums will vary by customer. All applicants subject to the State Farm underwriting requirements. We got a lot of we got a lot of hot takes, boys, firing off in here. Which ones? Did, which ones did y'all see? Uh, hot take: Besh will become wide receiver one by the end of the season. No. <laughs> no. If Kayshawn Boutiz up right, no. If he's hurt. <laughs> what about you, Pooh? Uh, of all these, and maybe one that you have of your own. Uh, hot take. Cordell will uh, be the starter at center by the end of the season. Uh, then I will have a six-pack. Okay. Like, I'll never eat another pizza again. <clears throat> Okay. I, I mean, if y'all tell me that's not going to happen, then <laughs> uh, Aunt Marshall said, hi, take Peyton Todd as a top 10 punter in the country. Wow, that means he beat out Bramblett. That'd be Bramblet's crazy. on the uh, Ray Guy watch list. Right, right. Uh, Bryce says, hi, take Kyron Lacey becomes a top three receiver on the team by the end of the season. Woo! Woo! What no, y'all no, think? No, no comment. Yeah. Uh, uh, Pooh Bear, you Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just, yeah. I watched Dealing... the spring game. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. A couple more. <laughs> a couple more. We'll get out of here. Uh, Ryan says, hot take. LSU finishes second right. in the West behind that's, Texas that's a and m That's a hot take. <laughs> Whoa. I, so, so here's the thing. It's, it's two parts to that. I can see LSU finishing second. I agree. But. But that means if if and you second behind that, Texas and that means Alabama's no, three. Third, third, Alabama's not gonna be three. I uh, they're not gonna be three. I'm sorry, BK, take over there. There's no way they're third in the West. Yeah, there's no. no there's like legitimately, I I can't see. But hey, look, never say never. Um, because when I started doing that, remember guys, I mean y'all are here for baseball season. You remember when I said LSU was going to get sw- uh, sw- uh, was going to sweep at Vandy, and then uh, I, my luck ran out after that, and so I had to pick LSU going into the regional and winning, and they lost. Anyway, anyway, no boo, boo this man. Uh, Andrew Martin says hot take: Booty wins Heisman over Young and Stroud. What do y'all think? Who's playing QB? Well, shit that's, doesn't. That's, I mean, well, that, that really didn't matter. Well, I was going to say, who was, who was the last time we had a wide receiver? Devontae Smith. But, I, yeah, I, I could, yeah. Yeah, and that was an outlier, too. They just. Yeah. 
That was a complete outlier. Uh, yeah. Bebop says, I meant Besh leads the team in receptions. I, got I can see that. I can okay, see that, yeah, too. I, yeah, can yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Uh, Jordan says, Bijan Robinson wins the Heisman Trophy, the running back from Texas. Mm. That would mean Texas is actually good. Definitely well, a hot Well, take. it would mean that they get the 10 wins, which then would probably mean that they won the Big 12. Now, mm. I, I can't. Well, uh, I don't know if I see there. that. I'm not going against Aranda right now. Yeah, and look, he's got a lot of replacing to do. You know, I mean, interesting. All right, two more, I promise. Uh, Call Dunn says, Hot Take Nuss is going to transfer. Wow. Wow. Mm. What win? <laughs> I guess ever. That's the hot take. Uh, and says, Trayvon so Henderson win. wins the Heisman. I can see that. Who's L- the L- running back for Ohio State? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. LGZ says, hot take, Quinn Sewers sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that, man. I can see that. All right, let's get on out of here. Pooh Bear. I see one. I all right, see all right, one. Hit me with it. Uh-oh. Hot take, booty makes Rich hit Rick's his bitch. Um, I think that's, that might almost be a guarantee. Hey, did y'all see, uh, did y'all see Eli Rick's tweet today? I did not. I did not. Thanking the Lord that he needed help and maturity in his life. Mm. Congratulations. No, you yeah. know what happened? He heard them comments from Saban, and he thought Saban was joking with his ass when he said he better get it into gear. Bless his heart. Well, I said that about Kevin Durant, too, and then he went to Golden State. You know what I but you know why I yeah. said that about Kevin Durant though? It wasn't necessarily because he went to Golden State, it was because of his hair. That that that's that stuff is rough. That it that looks like sandpaper. Is, it, it looks like ankle. used sandpaper. It look it looks like he's got baby twists in his head. Nah, that's, 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 mm. His ankles are like hitting iguana. What? His ankles look like he's an iguana. You're not seeing the ankle picture? I know y'all seen the ankle picture. All right, guys. This has been uh, <laughs> Are You Serious Sports? This has been Are You Serious Sports? Continue, <laughs> boo. I'm just going to echo you. We're ending the show. Continue. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Hit it, Zach. Thank you for listening to Believe. You can show support to your host by subscribing to the show and giving us a five-star rating on your preferred platform. Check us out at Believe.com and search for B-L-E-A-V on YouTube.